Hello land of YouTube, Forever Broken here, coming at you with another duel, dev pro duel, of my battle in boxers. Let's check it out. As you can see, I don't exactly have the greatest hand ever. Why is it going so slow? Why is it laggy? It's not cool. Let's not be super laggy. Hopefully it picks up. Why is it being super laggy? All I know is I don't have that great of a hand. It kind of forces me to do some weird things. But, you know, obviously I draw all for one day. I don't draw too bad. Go ahead. Do that. Do some shenanigans. Puts a spore in the graveyard, and I didn't really like the looks of that. But whatevs. Yeah, I wanted to attack. I didn't. I didn't want him to have a monster on board, so I attacked. Special lead yolk. Set warning and MST. I if I had known this was his hand, I would have been a little bit more worried. But no idea. D didn't know what I was in for. Did not. Just did not. He uh, this guy. This guy goes pretty hard. As you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna see. This guy goes hams. Ham sausages, guys. Ham sausages, literally. See, look at this guy. Look at look at the board he establishes. I, I I mean I know I have warning here, but I really thought he was gonna go for Quasar. That's why I didn't use it. His name is Sir Quasar. I'm thinking this dude is going to make a Quasar. It's the only thing that makes sense. He'll make a Quasar. So yeah. So they effectively deal, he effectively deals with my first lead yolk, which is a little depressing. This thing's still so laggy. It's kind of making me upset. He, his board just makes me sad. That's, that's a little bit of a problem, but I draw a rota. Obviously I'm going to rota. <laughs> Definitely grabbing switch hitter. Holy crap am I grabbing switch hitter. Uh, I'm looking at a really bad situation right here, and I didn't think this through. This was a misplay on my part. As you can see, I didn't realize his effect was if he is attacked as well. So, so what I end up doing is just making another lead yolk, because I can. So, I've got no hand, so I'll be top decking. He's got this field which I'm still looking at a really bad situation. I'm still really worried that he's going to make a Quasar. Which would be no bueno. At all. But luckily I can... I, I'm able to make that play. He decides he's going to get rid of his crimson, his own Crimson Blader for me. Instead of doing that play. I don't, I, I don't understand... Why he ended up doing that, but so I MST his set card because he sets needle bug nest for whatever reason. Luckily, I draw X Y Z unit, so that ends up uh being in my favor. And I kind of misplay here because I forget that I'm out of lead yolks. But you know, I go ahead and try to attack. He sparks his scrap. So I attack it again. I probably could have just killed Spark, but I didn't want to scrap dragon to keep using its effect. That wouldn't have been cool. As we can see, he's got a pretty bad hand himself, which makes me laugh. This is where I finally warning because I I was at slightly higher advantage and I was like, no, I'm not losing everything because of that 
especially since he would have just he would have saved his own spark so I would have been in a really bad situation <sighs> so he doesn't really get anything out of that turn I draw this veil doesn't really save me too much I kill spark spark protects the armadis which at this point there's no point for him but he left something on board whatever so but I still hit him for a pretty big chunk of damage Raiden's so good guys I, I really like Raiden <sighs> he steals that one but he still can't get over Lee Jolk which I'm grateful for and so I go ahead, kill the Armadis, because I can't kill the uh, 101 this turn, so I saw no point. <sighs> he breakthrough skills, which he obviously didn't realize that this was what was giving him his extra attack points, which is hilarious. So I just book his Zombie Master because I don't want any shenanigans. Go ahead. Headgear, headgear, glashed all to the graveyard to get switch hitter to my hand. I mean, it was it works out in my favor to oh shit to do this. I, I really needed this in my hand. He gets off a needle bug nest. I don't. I I wasn't entirely sure what the point was was of doing that, but he goes ahead and you know he he just goes for a bigger setup. Which, I mean, cool. Sends the Mizuki. He, he hits a zombie master. Or goblin zombie, I mean. Attacks this. Doesn't kill it, so I wasn't worried. I kind of dropped this prematurely. I probably should have dropped this now is when I should have dropped him. But either way, it was all good. Especially since, you know, right now is game. I summon him, no effect. Make Excalibur. Excalibur effect. Swing lead yolk into that thing. And then, bam, 29 exactly. And that is that replay. Why it lags so much, I do not know. But, yeah. Uh, this is, I believe, the updated version of the deck since the ban list came out you guys are just getting some tastes of it um i i'm not gonna lie i thought i was gonna lose this duel because i mean you saw that field and i and i and i admit i misplayed a couple times so yeah but i didn't so uh i was gonna try to fit in another duel but i don't think i have time i might be lying i'm gonna go ahead and try though Let's see. I think this one's pretty short, so let's see if we can't get the full 15 minutes out of this. Oh boy. If not, it's going to be a cliffhanger for you guys. <laughs> no, I'll just post the second video if this one doesn't uh, work out. Once again, I'm not starting with optimal hands. I'm really not. I don't even do anything. <laughs> that hand was just so bad, I couldn't even do anything with it. And it's still lagging. It makes me sad. I don't know why he ended up doing that, because he ended up making Star Eater anyways. So I I, I take the Star Star Eater smack at 32. Um, uh, he's already he's got a Star Eater and two back row, and I'm thinking, well crap. I am not looking this does not look good for me at all. So I blaster the freaking Star Eater. Summon headgear since that I was lucky enough to draw that. Send lead yolk. Grab that back. Spirits. Make, you know, go ahead and attack. Make lead yolk attack. He books it. I don't want him face down. I, I need to do damage. I'm already down 32. I was not happy about that at all. So, go ahead. Set this lance. And then he soul charges and makes me really sad because he brings back one two three 
and four. And I got real sad because I'm thinking he's going to make a huge setup. I'm going to be so screwed. He does this, and I'm like, oh, he's going to keep going, isn't he? I get switched to defense. I'm like, whatever, at least I'm face up. And then he does an attack. And I'm just like, okay. I'm still wor I'm worried about the back row. So I just I set my XYZ reflect. And then he goes ahead and limit removers, and I don't like the sounds of that, so I go ahead and lance this guy. So he doesn't get the boost. He swings, I take nine hundred. No biggie. Effect. Swings again. Glash doll will get me headgear back to my hand. I have taken significant amounts of damage. He's done most of his to himself. He activates the... his. He switches him to defense. They both get the draw. He makes a Felgrin, and I'm like, oh, crap. But never mind. LOL, it's like JK. Felgrin actually kind of ends up hurting him because I have the XYZ Reflect. And again, he's still at... Uh, He's still at an advantage. He's got higher life. I draw MST. I MST blindly, clearly, but you know, at this point, I wasn't really worried about it. And, but that's what I was worried about, which he ended up having that. So I was like, crap. But no big deal because obviously, swing big glass, swing big big lead yolk, and then glass draw for game. I had time to fit this. Cool. With time to spare. What do you know? All right, so those were um, the updated new ban list. <sighs> Battle and boxers. Sorry, it's kind of late. Zoned out. But yeah, so the next video will be uh, my deck profile of this uh, Battle and Boxer deck. Maybe. Yeah, no, no, I'll make it a separate video for you guys. So until next time, catch y'all later.